Good luck in the kitchen. Yeah, stay together. Stay together. No, good. <laughs> your grandpa and my grandpa cooking in the kitchen. My grandpa's your grandpa. You yep. burn up the chicken. Can you remember it? I don't know that. You don't know that. I haven't heard that song. Yeah. Oh, we just made it up. Okay, should I go on the guitar? Yeah. Okay, hello again. Once again, it's back to Granddad's Kitchen. Today, we're going to be cooking you some curry chicken. On here, we have the ingredients what we're going to use. We've got some all purpose seasoning in there. This sort of measurement, we're going to double that. Yeah, and again, we're going to double that. It all depends on the amount you're cooking. Yeah, here we have our scotch bonnet pepper. This one was in the freezer, as you can see, it's defrosting. It's better take it from the freezer when you're gonna use it don't leave it um, hanging around till you're gonna use it leave it in the freezer till you're ready for it otherwise it starts to go soggy yeah here's our garlic we're gonna use we have thyme we have a nudge of ginger all of this onion we're gonna use as I said depending on what you're gonna the amount you're cooking yeah we've got a red pepper and we've got some scallion so we're gonna cut all these up and get these all ready to go here we have our salt and pepper as usual and some oil yeah to go along with this lot no sorry let me skip that bit and come over to here here's our chicken we're gonna wash our chicken and we're gonna use some vinegar it doesn't matter what vinegar you use white or blah 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 you can use lemon lime the reason for using that it's a West Indian thing it's supposed to get rid of the slime personally I find if you're um, chicken is in water the bits that you don't want will float cut them off peel them off clean them off anyway we're gonna wash our chicken clean it up make it all nice then we're gonna put it in a bowl and we're gonna season it up with this lot yeah here's our pot we're getting ready to do our chicken and here's our pot to cook our food here's our food over here we have sweet potato these potatoes are gonna use alongside these to give the gravy a bit of texture yeah but we're gonna get some more and put in we have some banana green we have coca 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 sorry see dasheen <laughs> we have some dasheen and we have some yum and you know we can't do nothing without our dumpling so we're gonna make our dumpling yeah so let me slow down and come over here and start doing my chicken yeah so first I'm gonna do it on the running water and yeah, just wash my chicken over as you can see I've had all my chicken skin skin see all these bits these are the bits that we want to get rid of see uh, yeah so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna transfer this to another bowl actually once I've done this first off and then I'm gonna put the vinegar and stuff on it because as it is, if I wash it, cut it off and everything, then it's all gonna go down the sink. I don't want it to go down my sink. It'll stay there and smell, or it'll stay there and block my sink. So I'll give it a rough wash first, and then I get a bowl, put it in, and then when I'm washing these other pieces, see? You don't want that. That's what you're trying to get rid of. It's as easy as that. Yeah, so I'm gonna pause for a minute while I get this lot in another bowl and nice and sort it out and then I'll get back to you. Okay, here we go. There's our chicken all washed up, cleaned up and everything. Now, what I was saying to you before earlier, let me just get a knife, yeah? If you look, I don't know how well you can see it. You see like bits like there, see that? Those are the bits I'm talking about. Once you've got it in the water, you will see bits that floats about. Um, you won't get all of it 100%. There's no way you're gonna get it. You might as well just dash, dash with the chicken if that's what you're looking to do. Yeah, but you can see the bits, in it? So those bits, you just pick them off, yeah? Just pick them off, and as you wash your chicken, you just pick them off and carry on. I'm not even gonna show you the bits that we take off, because it's just good. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna rinse this off again. I've done with my um, vinegar and everything, and 
see just pick them out of it get rid of them and then I'm gonna start with the seasoning so I'll see you back again in a minute right we're gonna um, get ready for our seasoning now so we're gonna do our onion this is how I do my onion cut that off cut that off my knife is a bit blunt and another thing let me tell you while I'm here you see when you do your chicken and if you use a knife like I just did and everything clean it wash it off properly before you um, use it for anything else because what I'm finding now is the handle of the knife is slipping in my hand yeah so just bear that in mind get rid of all of that see your onion looks a bit uh wipe it round get rid of all of that there you go we don't like anything that looks too funny yeah watch that Rest it over there. Next, garlic. Yeah, you can just squeeze that, twist it, pierce it with a knife, and yeah, you get it. Break it. Yeah. There's a couple of ways um, people do garlic. Yeah, some people get their garlic, they get a knife, squash it. Take the shell off and then you chop that up yeah or well this is too small to demonstrate cut that end off cut that end off peel your garlic yeah so we're gonna move on from here now to our seasoning all right so if we come over here okay we're gonna do our seasoning there's our chicken so I get our knife again and we just cut up our garlic well you can cut it up directly into the bowl or you could cut it up on your um, chopping board get all your seasoning ready and then put it in yeah but we're just gonna carry on like this and give you a shout back in a minute yeah so we're gonna cut up our onions our garlic peel our ginger let me just demonstrate to you with the ginger as well for for a go away and let you go in right if you come over here again ginger just scrape it off no big peeling or no fancy peeling needed just scrape it off now your ginger because you don't want you've got two options here you cut your ginger up big so that you can get it back out of the pot because you don't want it to be eating the lumps of ginger or you grater it fine so it just mashes out with everything else yeah see just like that Listen, you see Grandad Kitchen tricks. <laughs> Listen, no matter subscribe if we have any sense. You know, no sense that we all go to the bush. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move on, yeah? So we come back up over here. And what we're gonna do. Listen, I'm gonna cut the ends off of these. Yeah, I'm just giving you a demonstration. Of all of those, I'm gonna chop up my onion. The time, the time can just go in all or as it is. Do my pepper and everything. You don't make sense, you stand up there watching me do this. So I'm going to do that and then I get back to you, yeah? I'll see you in a minute. Mm -hmm. Right, now I said I was going to just go and do that, but some of them are going to criticize my body, you know, but here we go. Cut off the bottom. Some people don't know how to peel skillet. Let's just be real about it, yeah? Peel off the outer layer, you see? Peel it off. What basically what you're looking for is your skeleton to be clean. Yeah? Outer layer gone. Anything you don't like to look off, peel it off. Yeah, if it looks too dry up like down there, cut it off and get rid of it. I don't like it personally. Some people will cook with it. And 
Okay. So you find you're trying to do it like this and it's been a pain in the neck. Use your hand. Okay? Use your hand. <gasps> a big piece of skeleton. Okay, I'll dash with the rest of all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Save that. I don't like waste. Yeah? So, it's that simple. Okay, I'm going to crack on that I've shown you. And if anything else, I'll come back and show you. Yeah? Some cup. Right, for this part now, you can see I've doubled up on the amount of seasoning I use because of the quantity of chicken. So what I'm going to do now is massage this up <laughs> keep it clean. I'm not going to make no anywhere dose, right? <laughs> I'm just going to just <laughs> stop to this stuff. <laughs> yeah, just like that. But you see, you could have had a bigger bowl still, make it easier. But now we're trying not to get it all over the place. Yeah, so we're putting all our seasoning like you see. Our ginger, we've, had, we've got some ginger here. Yeah, we've left us some of the scallion and some of the onion. We're gonna add these later, yeah? But at the moment, the majority is in here, yeah? So I'm just gonna massage this all in. And then, we should be ready for frying. Actually, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, it would have been better to leave it to marinate for a while. So they soak, the seasoning soak in. And see, gloves, get gloves, yeah? I'm trying to remember to tell you everything as I go along. But I know some of the things that I I'm chat so much in man in game and cook the food in just a chat chat chat. But that's true foolishness, it's just chat foolishness. I know nothing. I'll watch it, you hear? Anyway, as I was saying, here we go. Marinating it in, massaging it in, I should say. And we're gonna leave this now for five, ten minutes, however long it takes for our oil to hot. Oh, I'm talking about oil. We're not using no oil. We're going to put it straight in the pot and start doing what it does. It does. Yeah, so we'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to do this for another couple of minutes. Right, here's our food. We've um, peeled and left in water because we didn't want it to go black. So what we're going to do is pour the water off of that. Bring it over to our pot. There's our pot. We had a little bit of salt to it. Remember, taste, taste, taste. Okay, now, when you put it in your food, yeah, there's certain food that cook quicker than others, yeah? So we're going to put in the sweet potatoes, we're going to put in about halfway through the bananas and stuff cooking. We're going to make our flour, put our dumpling in, and everything before we put our potato in and our sweet potato. So we leave those for last and we put these in first. And give it about five ten minutes before we add the others in order for them to all cook at the same time finish cooking at the same time yeah so now we have our potato and our sweet potato left so we're just gonna just part those off one side while those do what they're doing and then we'll add the rest of them later yeah but we're gonna peel some more potato anyway yeah so while that's doing what it's doing put our color back on don't follow me sometimes these things <gasps> Hot, yeah. Okay, so see you in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna make our dumpling now. Here we have some cornmeal and some flour. Yeah, what I've done, like last time, I've put the salt in the water. So I know, rather than sprinkling it in the flour. So I'm gonna do that. Make my little hole there, and then pour my water and start kneading my flour. Okay, see you in a minute. Right, there you can see our chicken is doing its thing. You see all the liquid in it? We added no water, no oil. That's a, all its own juice. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, foul dog. If you're tears this up, if you ever... Sure, listen, let me move on, yeah? See, our dumpling and potato doing its thing in there. Sorry about dumpling and banana and blah, blah, blah. It's cooking, yeah? <laughs> we just dribble and get back to the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put our scotch bonnet pepper in there. See, once we put our scotch bonnet pepper in, we can't go mad on the stirring because we don't want it to burst in there. If it bursts in there, everything spoil. Yeah, so we're gonna pour our scotch bonnet in it and add the rest of our seasoning in it. Yeah? Okay, we're gonna get on with that now. See you in a minute. This one is weak. I don't know. I'll do it in all of my videos, you know. Here we go. Oh my days, I don't have to tell you how nice this thing smells. There, 
we have our scotch. Don't burst your scotch bonnet pepper in here. Yeah? Just put it down there, stir around it if you feel you have to stir. Don't stir it. Don't burst it, yeah? Anyway, lost for words. I'm lost for words. It just smells so nice. Soon come again. Next time you see it, it will be all done. The fish took about 20 25 minutes to cook it all. Once you get it on there, so we're just going to coat that down there, leave it there for about another 10 minutes or so, it'll be finished. Our food, we need to bring that back up to the boil, I left it off too long, but it's coming along, that'll be ready in about the same time. And dinner, 25 minutes from now, we're eating, yeah? Talk to you soon. Right, there it is, our chicken, oh my day. <sighs> If you could smell, smell that. Chicken's ready. And in here, we have our banana, our carrots, our dumpling, our potato, coke. I, I, food is nice. We're gonna put this on a plate now. It's all done. Fire's off, just let it simmering down. Okay, so we're gonna dish that out and show you what it all looks like presented on a plate, yeah? Give me five minutes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. We have our green banana, potato, yam, dashin, dumpling, <laughs> sweet potato, and carrot. Hey, listen, let me tell you this now. You see that dumpling? Watch out. <laughs> she niggle the pot. <laughs> she like. <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> nah, so that boy, <laughs> that. Yeah, that's how I look at the play, yeah? God bless you, no? God bless me too, yeah, sir? <laughs> see you later. Let me show you the play. <laughs> and that's how I see you for me. <laughs> okay, people, this is my play. <laughs> Our food, yeah? Alright. Now, you can see. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say nothing, I ain't gonna say nothing if you listen to the background quietly. <laughs> yeah, okay then, till next time.